Hey, it's Jo for Hayley Magpie, and as I give you a flip through of my travel mini album, I've made this using the Maggie Holmes round trip collection for my April blog post projects. It's quite a chunky one. Um, there's already a video on my channel of how to make this mini book, um, and it's got this lovely binding. I'll just zoom out a wee bit. Um, it's got this lovely binding with embroidery floss that holds in lots of pages and because I'm able to have all the separate pages here, can you see the signatures in there? It means that I can add in lots and um, there's loads of room because I've got a nice big spine. Um, if I did it with um, book rings, I would need a good chunky book ring. Um, and of course, if I did it with a smaller spine, it would really fan out. So this is a great way of um, putting in lots of bits and pieces inside. So that's the album. Um, this is from Paige Evans Bungalow Lane collection. But everything else is um, from the Maggie Holmes new round trip collection. So on the front, I've got chipboard sticker. Um, I haven't used many chipboard stickers in this, just another one which is just in there, just because I didn't want to bulk up too much inside. Um, everything else is either cut from the papers, so this is from one of the cut apart papers. Um, I did, after getting my initial order in, I did go back and get um, the 12 by 12 sticker sheet, or 6 by 12 sticker sheet, um, which is this one here. So I haven't used many stickers. Um, I've tried to stick with the ephemera that I cut out from the cut apart pages. Um, and then I also got in, because these came in later into stock. Um, this is the Puffy stickers. They are really lovely and great for putting in mini albums. And also these enamel dots, which is which are absolutely perfect. Um, I love all the geotags and the colours. So I didn't end up using the other enamel dots that I got from Halo Magpie. Um, I used these ones instead just to keep it the same for the collection. Right, let's bring this back in then. So I have a little flip through. So if you look at the first video I made, you'll see that I've got all the pages in here, probably in a different order. I did sort of move things around just to go, the papers would go better with the different things we're doing on different days. Um, but things like this, was that was already here but blank. Um, and what you will notice, that I used a um, dino label maker for... Uh, all the titles going through this and actually I found that really great it's only it's a new thing that I've got well it's new to me <laughs> obviously it's an, quite an old product um I was reorganizing my craft room and I bought one of those to do lots of labeling for collections um and then I thought you know what I'm just going to use it in this and I love how it's turned out and it's really sticky so those aren't peeling off um so some of these I made ahead know which place we'd go to but then um i've actually sat through and i've made a load more for the different days and it made me think about doing this because i'd ordered some flares from hayley magpie and um, there were black flares that's sunshine coming through my window now black flares with this white typewriter print um i thought that's great because it kind of matches Okay, I just waited for a moment for the sunshine to disappear. <laughs> We've now got grey clouds out there, so I shall continue. Um, so I've got a little bit of journaling that I've added in that pocket there. And then going over, so we've got day one, um, Sunday, and then we've got photos from um, our flight over. There's a puffy sticker, very cute plane. Um, and I've added in a little gold arrow from the uh, enamel dot pack. I've made a little pocket here just by sticking down three sides of this label um, and then tucking in a boarding card and another little cut apart um, tag. I've added one of the tags here. Um, this is from the um, stationery pack. Um, quite a few things from that because I never ever got the um, ephemera pack. I didn't need to once I'd cut everything apart from the two cut apart sheets that I had. Um, so a few things are from that as well. I've added a sticker here. I've got 
I've cut apart more papers here and used that for journaling. And um, there's a few that um, I've added photos to. They're from the cut apart sheets. I've glued on a beer mat from one of the pubs we went to. And I've got some photos on the back of that one. More photos. That's from the sticker sheet. That's from the puppy sticker sheet of the one that says lovely. Um, more bits from the enamel dots. And then just lots of pictures. So I've kind of, most of the time I've done... Uh, one paper like that that's just flat and then the next one with pockets and this one I've actually turned it around so initially I had the pockets on the inside of here and then I've I've just turned it the other way so that I've got a pocket on this side with a with a blank paper there and just means I can tuck in different bits I've used a date stamp throughout as well um, it's just one that I got from a stationery I think it's from W. H. Smith or something like that so nothing special there. A full load of photos covered up that really busy paper that made my eyes go funny. And I've swapped, what I've done on this one, I've actually added that in. So I've got to, um, two bits of paper, two pattern papers under that one um, string. And I added in another paper, uh, which is this one. I didn't have this one originally. And I went back and, and bought that when I got the other stickers in. Um, just so that I could have a bit more, a few more pages. So we've got the busy side on that one. And then this side, we've got that lovely floral paper, which I really wanted. And it went well here because it was Botanic Garden. So that was perfect. This is, is a cut apart um, label that I've literally stuck on one side, trimmed it off and then stuck the other bit on the other side to add somewhere for my journaling. Then I've got another pocket here. So rather than sticking the um, photos down, I've tucked them in there. And um, I've got journaling on a tag. That's from the stationery thing. I've got a little receipt. Um, one of, another one of the flares from Halo Magpie. And then this, unfortunately, wouldn't quite fit in. My pages weren't big enough, so I've had to fold it down again. And that's a little um, thing about the drawing room offices at Holland and Wolf which is now the Titanic Hotel. Uh, more photos. Love the cranes. Um, definitely lots of pints going down. <laughs> um, and then meeting up with my friend. Uh, more floral paper because we went to the Wood Garden. And then another pocket. This is another one that I've swapped it around. So rather than having the pockets on the inside, I've swapped it to one on the outside on either, either edge. Um, so that meant I could have lots of photos there, but also two separate pockets. Um, so that worked well. Uh, this here, that's from the sticker sheet. Uh, these, This tag here is from the stationery pack. And then I've added in some little bits of ephemera as well. More of these lovely enamel dots stars um hearts just really lovely selection in there there's even green ones as well as the gold um so more photos this one i've kept the pockets as they are i'm not so keen on this um why can't we have proper tickets anymore everything's just printed out from the computer which is a real shame <laughs> definitely missed that so i have to stick with some of these lovely tickets instead um a few more photos and then this here, I love this envelope and I wasn't sure how I could use it because I didn't want to cover up the back because I really like the stripes around there. So what I've done is I've glued it underneath the photos on this page, tucked it underneath there. Um, I didn't have to tuck it underneath. I could have just had it, you know, on this side. But actually, I quite like that because it feels more interactive. Um, and then I've put my journaling inside. But what I have done is added this ticket to the outside. Um, so that it just kind of keeps it as obvious that you need to pull something out. And then more photos. And here's that envelope that I loved. So I've written some journaling on that. 
and then popped it in. Again, I've swapped this pocket around so that I've got a pocket on one side. And then I've got photos. This is a uh, MacArthur Park card. Um, and another pocket with boarding cards, printed out bits anyway, um, and a piece of ephemera. And in here, I've got some more um, of the printed boarding cards. I might add something else in there, but I've actually, because I've got quite a lot of pockets throughout the album, I didn't, didn't really need to have that on there, but it, I'd already stuck it down, so I thought I'd better put something in it. And so that's what I've done. And that is it. Thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you again soon.